The Utah Jazz have been very quiet this offseason. However, on Wednesday, they made some news by extending all-star forward Lori Market into the biggest contract in franchise history. According to Woj, Market inside a five-year $238 million contract renegotiation and extension with $220 million in new money. Marketing was eligible for a contract extension this offseason. The Jazz listened to trade offers this past season, which led many to speculate that the Jazz would move on from the All-Star forward. However, they decided not to trade him and make him the highest paid player in Jazz franchise history. The 27-year-old big man had $18 million left on his contract. According to reports, he will not be owed another $24 million on the Jazz salary cap to increase his salary next season, and also agreed on another four year at 196 million that includes no options. He will be locked in with that contract until it expires after the 2028 slash 2029 season. The extension will keep Markadin not tradable for six months, but since the trade deadline is on February 6th, he will not be eligible by then to be traded until next off season. Marketed then released a statement after hearing that he would not be traded until at least 2025. It's a weight off my shoulders and I can focus only one main thing now, playing basketball at a high level. I don't stress about it, but you can pretend you don't hear that stuff. It's a good feeling knowing that I'm going to be in Utah. In his first season in Utah, Marketed averaged 25 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, and .6 blocks per game. Because it was a great season in Utah, he was selected to this first All-Star game and won Most Improved Player of the Year. The Finn was originally drafted by the T-Wolves 7th overall in 2017. He was traded on draft night to the Bulls as part of the Jimmy Butler trade. In 2021, he was a part of a three-team trade that involved the Cavs, Bulls, and Trailblazers. After only one season in Cleveland, he was on the move again, this time to the Jazz, as part of another superstar player trade, which was for Donovan Mitchell. Right before the 2022 season started, marketing was traded alongside a few players, three draft picks, and two pick swaps to the Jazz in exchange for Donovan Mitchell. Last season, the Jazz finished 31-51 and 51 and are in prime position next season to have a top five pick, which is why many thought Utah would trade Markadon for more draft picks. But after the Jazz listened to offers, they decided not to trade him, keep him on board for a while. According to a stat done by ESPN, Markadon is just one of three seven-footers to make at least 1,000 three-pointers in league history, joining in good company such as Dirk Nowinski and Channing Frye. He is also the only seven-footer in NBA history to make 175 three-pointers in multiple seasons. In 2023-2024, Markadon's best game came against the Suns on November 19th when he dropped 38 points and hauled in 17 boards. After it was reported that Markadon signed the largest deal in franchise history, this is what he had to say in, the, in his home country of Finland. They have all showed their belief in me from the ownership to the front office to Will. It's comfortable environment and those guys' resumes speak for themselves. I trust in the organization to help me grow as a person and a player to build our team and I'm ready to take on the challenge. The Jazz officially now have their franchise player they can build around with. Let me know in the comments what you think of the extension and if he's worth it. And also, if you haven't, don't forget to subscribe and like the vid.